Hello everyone. Uh, so a few days ago, uh, I bought this book called The Creative Act of Way of Being, and uh, I thought to, uh, to attempt a, a series, we'll see how it goes, this is the, the we'll start off with an introduction. Uh, it's a thick book, so uh, we'll, see, we'll see how it goes. So uh, this book is by Rick Rubin, and I'll be referencing it, and anyone who uh, would like to see inside, you, you, you're, uh, you can purchase the, the book on Amazon. So again, what is the creative act? And we're, as with everything, uh, all our videos, we uh, c connect it to the Torah. And ultimately, everything is, a, is an opportunity to connect with God. So I, uh, I'm going to be reading from a portion uh, from my teacher, Rabbi Yitzchak Ginsberg. And uh, I'll link to that uh, in the in the comments. Behold, the be derashticha. With all my heart, I searched for you. So the essence, we're we're now entering a meditation. We're trying to understand what is creativity according to the Kabbalah. So the first thing is is well, how, how do we connect our consciousness? Is, is we're connecting our conscious we're, we're coming close to God it's an opportunity to, to to seek God with all our hearts and to come close to him and this is the this is the objective of all Jewish meditation is to find God and to reveal him in this world right so again this is this is the beginning what does it mean for something to to be creative like we have this Eureka moment this exciting thought that we had that comes to us that, that, that thought, the first, the first realization, the first point of today, is that thought is a thought from God. That we're connecting with God, and, and God is, 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 is uh, revealing himself. But how do we know if that thought is correct or not? How do we know that we're not just making this up? Right? This is just, uh, could be just a uh, fantasy. So, the, uh, the idea, for the first of all, we have to, to know in our motivation that our our objective is to reveal God's presence in this world, to seek God with all our hearts, and that anything, any thought that comes to us, our intention is that that thought should be, uh, that's our connection, that's, that's the, the sign that, uh, so, uh, uh, the spark, this eureka moment, this, this light-filled moment that we're connecting with God. So, for instance, when I thought of well, how, you know, what, what should I talk about? Right, I had this idea, and I bought this. I bought this book, and what should, I didn't know really what to talk about. And then, so I, I, I came across this article. I, I had this idea uh, of searching around and I, from from teach, uh, different teachings of my rabbi, Rabbi Ginsberg. And here in this article, I see I see something, and it was like a eureka moment, like a flash. What did I see? So I'm going to quote, By giving the Torah to us, he shares with us his ways, teaching us how to make our way his. Therefore, the commandments of the Torah are the ways of God, the place to go when seeking God. The ways of God. So already, you start making connections. Right? Kabbalah is all about making connections. We have a modern-day metaphor. We have a book, which is a modern-day metaphor. And we have the ancient, the timeless wisdom of the Torah, of, of Kabbalah, uh, which is the... Um, and, and Hasidut, which is the inner dimension of the Torah, the secrets of all creation. And here we say, what is the subtitle of this book? The Creative Act, A Way of Being. So here, what, what is the way? What is our way? Those are the commandments. Those are the commandments. Those are the way that we come close to God, is the, the commandments that he gave us. It's, that's our way of being. Ah, so what is the creative act? The creative act is learning Torah. So the way of being is the commandments... And the, the creative act is learning Torah. So here we have Torah and mitzvot. Right here, in, in, in reverse order. The, the first we, uh, first typically, from the Lubavitcher Rebbe, he emphasized for our generation, the main thing is the action. So, so we should start off by not philosophizing, by not uh, being theor theoretical, but by practical action, by doing the mitzvot, the commandments of God. So that should should in our in our mind that's the first thing, a way of being. That's the, the those are the commandments, and then the creative act is then we start understanding why why we're doing these mitzvahs and to learn Torah, to learn more and more. So that is 
so so it's not so learning Torah. So, so that's very nice. That's also that's coming. All of this is to come close to God, right? As I mentioned, I, I came across this article, and as if if your heart is in the right place, and hopefully, you know, I I, I I'm hoping to to share this with with you, and hopefully this is a benefit to you, and that's a good motiv good motivation, right? That we are all teachers. The Jewish people are called Orla Amim, a light into the nations. Our job is to be teachers. So hopefully, I, I was the, the intention is to, the, to the, I should find something that would be a benefit to you. So then I came across this article and it talks about the ways of God and the, and then then start rea realizing that what's the greatest creative act of all? That's learning Torah, and that through learning Torah, this is the the light of God that we start start uh, realizing and some and. and that through learning the Torah, through this act of submitting ourselves and, and learning Torah, we're entering this space of divine consciousness. So, in this, uh, on the cover of this book, we have here a, a point and a circle. This portion that I'm that I'm quoting from now is a portion that was later included in a book called Living in Divine Space by Rabbi Ginsberg. And there he explains that we have to enter into a cube. Not a point, not a circle. We have to enter into a cube where we're surrounded by divine consciousness, by the six constant mitzvot, as explained there, six con constant commandments, but that at all times we're continuously together with God. And that's, a, that's to enter this divine space of divine consciousness, together with God, as much as possible in our lives and in, in, our, daily, in our daily activities. So what's the point? So we start here with a point in the middle, right? The point is our, the point of departure on our spiritual journey ahead. But there, from, the, from there, we go from the point, and the objective is that we're searching God, we're coming close to God. What's the full area, right? We said we're entering this cube this, of divine consciousness this, 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 that surrounds us at all sides. The full area of meditative consciousness is, is becoming so engrossed in the depth of the meditation on both the intellectual and emotional planes that we transcend our own limited state of self-consciousness and undergo a, a metamorphosis becoming one with the divine truth embodied in the meditation. So this is all, it's all a meditation on the oneness of God. Everything. Every Jewish meditation is a meditation on the oneness of God. And through connecting, then we, then we, and through learning this, the Torah in, in, a, in a way that, with the intention to give it over, with the intention to bring down godliness in this world, and to share that light with others, then, then these, these, these creative things come, these creative thoughts come. Where does it come from? It's, it comes from, from our, our desire to connect with God. So, this is the prayer is the service of the heart. So we have here these two things. We have here, well, we have Torah and mitzvot. We have the Torah and the commandments that, that we're, we're, we're coming close to God. And we also have prayer that all of this, all, all, everything that we do is that we're seeking God with all our heart. It's a service of the heart. So we start off with a point that, that, we're, and then we end off with an area where we're living in divine space, where we're surrounded, surrounded at all sides by God, and that we're experiencing it in every moment of our lives. So I just wanted to uh, quote from, from the first uh, end of the first page of the book. Each of these moments, so he's talking about this act of, uh, of knowing, of having thoughts, that uh, we, you know, the whole the, this whole thing is where where do thoughts come from, right? So we know where thoughts come from, but this is this is this is how he he is explaining it. This is the author here. Each of these moments is an invitation to further inquiry, looking deeply, zooming out or in, opening possibilities for a new way of being. So we said, what what is the transformation transformation that's going here? It's entering the space of divine consciousness where we're together with God at every moment. And first, we have the way of a way of being, which is our that the, the halacha, the, the 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 traveling, traveling, going forward in our service of God through the commandments, and then we have the, the most creative act of all, which is learning Torah and connecting with the infinite light of God, the, the divine wisdom, and and then through through that and through we 
with, with, with all our heart and with, with all our with all our might that we're, we're, we're entering into this, this space of divine consciousness and that, that through that we should have many, many, many light-filled divine uh, sparks of inspiration because God wants us to be inspired in, in, his, in the service of Him. Right? God, God wants us to enjoy and to be inspired and to inspire others. So thank you so much.